Hours after the Crocus concert hall mass killing, residents arrived at the site to pay their respects. Among them, one of the thousands of revelers who were inside on Friday night and managed to escape. No. I thought the sound came from firecrackers, but they weren't stopping. They were screaming, panic. When my husband and I knew we needed to save ourselves, to run, he grabbed my hand. I just looked back. The people were downstairs. They started shooting. My husband grabbed me and we went through the upper floors, through the fire escape. This is what's left of the building. After the shooting spree, a fire broke out. Parts of the roof collapsed as firefighters were battling the flames. Unfortunately, during the first searches, the remains of bodies have been discovered. There's a lot of work still to clear the rubble, a lot of engineering work where it's necessary to ensure safety. Authorities are still completing their lists of the deceased and the wounded. Some 150 people were taken to hospital. To help save them, hundreds queued to donate blood. I want to help those who suffered. This is what we can do. So many people rushed to donate that there wasn't enough personnel to collect blood from all of them. Centers asked those waiting to come back in coming days for more efficiency.